पहली बात तो मीटिंग के बाद रणदीप ने बोल दिया कि खाना छोड़ दो बिकॉज ही वाज आल्सो नॉट ईटिंग आई वाज ओनली साइन फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट 10 डेज बिफोर आई वाज सपोज्ड टू गो ऑन फ्लो एंड अगेन आई आई आल्सो डोंट टेक एवरीथिंग दैट्स ऑफर्ड टू मी टोल्ड मी नो यू शुड टेक दिस नेम ऑफ इट डजंट डजंट हैव अ पॉजिटिव कनोटेशन काम के लिए क्रिमिनल नहीं Hello and welcome. You're watching India.com Z with Jigyasa Sahai. And today we are in conversation with the very talented Pranal Dutt who is here for his upcoming movie V Savarkar. Welcome Pranal. Thank you Jigyasa. Thank you for having me. And first of all, congratulations for your upcoming movie. The trailer is out and yes. I just loved it. Even the trailer is creating a lot of buzz. People are loving it. They're showering all their love and hearts on it. So kudos to that and congratulations for that. Thank you so much. That. I'm not saying it. You said said it. Yeah. It actually is true like people are really liking the trailer. And uh, yeah, I have my fingers crossed. Yes. It looks really nice. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like, even it's. उसकी कुछ कुछ उस trailer में dialogues हैं. They are just you know goosebumps आ गए उसको देखते. And towards the end, there is this scene where all the characters, even where you are introduced, yeah. and उधर एक वो फांसी का फंदा है. Correct. So that's just spine chilling to just see it in a yeah. moment. Yeah. Imagine करने में कैसा हुआ. Yes. So. But, no, <laughs> only only grateful and fortunate to have got this opportunity to play. Somebody like Madhulal Dhingra, and I'm very yeah. happy people are liking uh, the trailer. Yeah. Yes. So you know, to start from where it all began for you. Mm -hmm. So how did you land up for this role? Actually, I got a call from uh, this casting director called Parag Mehta. Mm -hmm. He told me Randeep uh, Hooda wants to meet you. Okay. Which got me excited. Yeah, of course I it was did. Like, <laughs> uh, okay, if I want for an actor to call me. For a film which he's directing, I think Randeep Hooda would be right up there in the top three. Yeah. Yeah, and I was excited. Mm -hmm. I met him, and uh, he took me through the mm -hmm. film. He felt that I would be appropriate for the part, and he was very excited. And the way he narrated, the way he wanted to, uh, again, a you know, freedom struggle, patriotic film, yeah. but he had a different take on it. Huh. So that got me really excited. So, it was very amazing. The more I read, the more I was like, "Wow, this is uh, this is quite a role." Yeah. And Randeep ka bhi a favorite part. Hai. Randeep was okay. like, "I, my bus chale to me Madhulal Dhingra pe film banana." <laughs> so, all of these things got me really excited, actually. Great. So, like you said, ki also this is like a period film, yeah. right? So, you know, how was it for you for preparing for the role? I'm sure there must be a lot of homework, because mm -hmm. you know you have to read about the character, you know, and ki. Read everything about the character, the demeanor, and all mm. to get into the role, Correct. right? So, how did you prepare for it? Was it physically and mentally challenging? So, what was Brunal's approach? I think what was happening was, first of all, the meeting after Randeep ne bol diya ki khana chhod do. Ha. Because he was also not eating, and also <laughs> these guys were, you know, jaisa uh, unka physicality tha, so that needed to be of a certain kind. So, I mean, that's just one thing. Uh, I I was only signed for the project ten days before I was supposed to go on flow. Okay. So I quickly started researching, spoke to my father, spoke to people who had an idea about Madhulal Dhingra, and also I went through different books and different books about Savarkar, huh. which mention Madhulal Dhingra. I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, there is not a lot, but there is good enough. There is no video evidence, but there are, there are photographs of how hmm. he looks and the sort of person he was, the sort of life he lived, the family he comes from, you know, his courage. and the bravery sort of he wore on his sleeve was uh, very evident you know this was a guy who was who was fearless and he just didn't like the britishers like you know he was not like other you know <clears throat> um he was unlike also the other revolutionaries he never thought much of britishers like he would go beat a britisher up agar koi usse chhedta tha wo jaake uski pitai kar deta tha okay and he was from a fluent family hmm. he was well studied so he was a very confident person yeah. um so there was enough uh, material to sort of figure out the kind of person he was aur meri research to chalti rahi kyunki mera shuru yeah. mein 10 din baad shoot hua hafta 10 din ka fir kafi gap aaya fir dobara shoot hua fir kafi gap aaya to aise gaps mein maine shoot kiya but main okay. all throughout i kept on reading and you know finding things about madhulal dhingra Yes. So, Hamrinal wanted to ask you. I don't know if it is just me hmm. or have like, kya logon ne aapko kabhi aisa bola hai that you and Randi Pooja, you know, have like certain similarity in look wise or something. Aisa kabhi kisi ne aapko bola hai? Ah, bola to hai. Ha. <laughs> uh, I think there is a similarity also. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're... थोड़ी सी सिमिलैरिटी पर्सनैलिटी में भी है ओ रियली थोड़ा सा जिद्दी में भी हूँ वो तो बहुत ही ज्यादा है एंड वी बोथ अवेरी पैशनेट अबाउट हिज वर्क एंड आई लुक अप टू हिम एंड ही इज ही इज 
he's an he's an amazing artist yes. actor to sabne dekha hai aap film dekhenge to unki direction skill bhi pata lagegi so i mean i'm fortunate that i just got to work with him so closely yeah and that i know him now yeah. and i'm associated to him through this film right i mean it's uh, i'm i'm very grateful for that yeah so you know speaking of randeep and how you yeah. have worked with him so you know all of us know that he has seen his fair share of uh, lows and highs in sure. his career like every like other actor every other actor so you know uh, like there was a time when you he works very hard for every film like every right. one does so there was this one film where he you know underwent a lot of transformation hmm. but eventually it got shelved and he had also spoken about oh, ha, ha. it right i think that right. was sara gadi yeah hmm. so aisa kabhi set pe hua like uh, aisa koi chance where you know he spoke to you about it maybe some time where you guys were having a conversation you know how such situations right. often make a actor vulnerable so aise kuch creative exchanges or anything did he did you to have i think yes he used to tell sara gadi ke bare mein bhi baat ki thi but I mean, वो छोटी छोटी अलग अलग चीजें पे हम बात करते थे बट मोदी हिज पैशन टू वर्ड सावरकर जी बट हाँ वो उनके बारे में बात करते थे और उनके बारे में काफी सारी चीजें शेयर डेफिनेटली करते हैं एंड गो थ्रू वेट चेंज एंड फिजिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो विद ऑल ऑफ द अदर थिंग्स यू नो Of course. So, is there anything you know, like from the uh, sets that uh, you know he might have? You know, ne kuch apko aisa bola ho ya there is some incident uh, that will you know jo apke zehn mein hai aur hamesha rahega. I think incident se bhi zada now that I look back and just remember the scenes we were doing. Oh ha! I think I have something which yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. So, Madhulal Dhingra has a speech. Okay. Which you'll also see a portion of in the film. Hmm. it was a speech where churchill said this is the best revolutionary speech i've ever heard okay uh, here madhulal dhingra didn't take defense um he's like i would fight my own case and it was a you know it was it was a beautiful speech it was a speech which shook a lot of people hmm. and churchill being one of them so wo jab hum rehearse kar rahe the aur jaise set pe commotion hota hai there are like 50 people setting up lights and setting up different things so it was only he and me in that moment where we were just rehearsing the, the lines and i remember uh ki maine line bol ke suna raha tha abhi court mein ek taraf judge hote hain aur ek taraf audience baitha hota hai ha to abhi audience bhi baith raha tha judge baitha tha udhar but full commotion tha Haan. it was just me and him Haan. rehearsing the lines and he was he's not in the scene but he's he was like pata ho mujhe main uh, let's helping you out with Haan, it ha just yeah. like let's play the scene out yeah. you know so i was rehearsing and i was doing it the first time i did i was so charged up uh, i was constantly thinking about what madhulal dhingra must be thinking at this point so i was so charged up and i was probably so fiery that when i delivered those lines and i looked at him he was just like goose bumps are like oh and he and he also yeah you used a cuss word but with excitement yeah. like, <laughs> rongte khade ho gaye i thought that was that was quite a moment to wow. see him uh, being excited about yeah what we were sort of delivering in such an important scene so i think uh, yeah that 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 was special i think yeah so probably that the fa- the passion the fire of passion that he also saw in you Correct. he actually you know that and that is what savarkar yeah. and madhulal dhingra yeah. was equ- uh, equation was equation savarkar was. saw uh, that passion yeah. in uh, madhulal dhingra and i think yes he probably did see that as well so yeah so you know also mrinal that uh, we have seen ki like you talked about ki wo kitne passionate hai mm-hmm. right and mm-hmm. so are you and mm-hmm. like you said ki wo line rehearse karne mein you had so much passion and mm-hmm. that energy so would you say that you know uh, after so many years all everything said and done do you think that randeep uh, has got his due yet in the industry according to you i think he is one of the most credible actors mm-hmm. he's got a massive following people yeah. just come to uh, watch him mm-hmm. because i mean he doesn't need to prove his metal he has just proved himself again and again yeah uh, and uh, with the rigor that he works yeah. you know it's insane and i think um, this movie will will be bigger for him okay. like this movie will uh, hopefully is bigger than uh, anything else that has ever been okay. because um, i mean the man has put so much into it I mean direction skills also it's it's him I think he's he's from inception he wrote the film he directed it right. he's sort of worked on the post himself yeah. scene by scene so yes it it um definitely people people love him he he yes. 
has all the credibility yeah. one an actor can ask for so also like speaking of it you know like you have done movies like his story which was also you know that was a series yeah, yeah that uh, that was a series so jo us wo character tha and we have seen you doing other comic romantic in romantic right. roles as well so after having the experience you have hmm. do you think that you have gotten your due in the industry i think i have to do a lot more work yeah due uh, probably not hmm. but that's not how i think okay i think i'm evolving as an actor and i hmm. think i i choose my parts i say no to a lot of things yeah and um i am very happy with the way things are going and the way things are uh, lined up yeah um i will get my due with time i'm pretty yeah. pretty sure of that but uh, yeah it's it's not been so bad it's been yeah. pretty good yes that that's absolutely amazing i mean that's so honest yeah thank you for being that honest first of all so i'm sure ki aapne apne sort of you know you had your own number of auditions did you audition for savarkar i actually didn't he made okay. me he i met him he took me through i think he Achha. already was uh, he had made up his mind and he Haan. knew what he sort of uh, getting into or uh, he had seen my work or some things i'm mm -hmm. not still sure of it i did do a screen test okay after after almost i I think he decided that he wants me to do mm. it then he did make me do a few scenes which are more like a look test okay. screen test that how uh -huh. I'm looking on screen because also I think uh, the look plays an important part when you're trying to play somebody who already already existed in history yeah. uh baki sari cheeze to of course uh, I think Madhla Dhingra was also quite fiery yeah. and I would like to believe I am also yeah. you know just <laughs> very passionate uh when it came to mm. the country and and the situation the country was in and to get rid of uh, get the country rid of the britishers so he was very passionate about that um yeah so i think that, the whole it was a very smooth and organic thing that happened i think he made his mind somewhere in this process right uh, so yeah. like uh aapne agar kabhi aur baki cheezo ke liye if ever you must have your own sort of audition stories right. i guess so right. you know whenever if if ever hmm. you face any sort of rejection then how did you deal with it I mean it's mostly rejection man yeah. like there are more rejections than there are like uh, things that come your way but yeah why rejections don't seem like rejections after a point uh -huh. um, there are parts which you really want to do and you really want to get that job but you don't but then there comes projects like this which I which just came to me yeah so you know it's a balance some things just end up happening out of nowhere and some things um as much as you try do not work out so that's the nature of the thing as soon as you if you if you working in an industry you need to know the nature of it and and make peace with it and not be troubled by it by rejections rejections are in every um field you know so you sort of use those rejections to make yourself better i think hmm. but rejections do trouble you um but again that happen on every level like even if you yeah even if your film not working even for a big star a film not working is a big rejection by audience to not accept you yes. as an actor or a film uh -huh. so rejections will happen it really depends how you take them and and it's a ongoing process to evolve and get better at your job yeah. and again <laughs> i i also don't take everything that's offered to me mm -hmm. i choose from what i have in my hand ha huh. and i think us maybe you can sort of create your own filmography Hmm. कि अगर मुझे दस में से पांच चीजें नहीं मिल रही हैं पांच ऑफर हो रही हैं पांच में से मुझे दो नहीं करनी है सो so, वो जो तीन बची हैं दो थ्री थिंग्स आर गुड इनफ फॉर मी टू फाइंड डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ वर्क एंड डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ बैलेंस बट यस आई वॉन्ट टू डू ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर्स एंड यू नो प्रोजेक्ट सो आई आई लुक एट इट लाइक दैट And it's also good that you have in your head, you have it sorted. कि ठीक है मुझे क्या क्या करना है और क्या क्या नहीं करना है. Absolutely. To say yes or no. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Anything. To know what you want yeah. is very important, and sometimes to know what you don't want is also important. Is equally important yeah. because then it leads you to what you want. Morally. So what was that one moment when you were like, ठीक है प्रणाल, I have to do acting. मैं तो बॉम्बे ही एक्टिंग करने के लिए आया था. अच्छा. When I came also, I got a job हाँ. within ten days. I auditioned for a TV हाँ. show and I got it. सो काम कर करके शुरू में वन आई केम टू मुंबई आई वाज आई वाज सुपर बिजी फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री फोर इयर्स सो एड्स तो मैंने तब करे जब और चीजें नहीं होती थी जस्ट टू कीप योर यू नो सॉर्ट ऑफ कीप योर पॉकेट कीप यू गोइंग या एंड एक्टिंग इज व्हाट आई वांटेड टू डू आई केम फ्रॉम दिल्ली वांटिंग टू एक्ट आई यूज्ड टू डू स्टेज स्ट्रीट प्लेस इन दिल्ली विद माय कॉलेज ड्रामा सोसाइटी एंड दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट एक्साइटेड मी टू परफॉर्म आई वाज आल्सो अ स्पोर्ट्समैन आई यूज्ड टू सिंग इन माय स्कूल कोयर 
Oh, really? Yeah. So it was performing. I was very <laughs> sure about it. Modeling, matlab, um, I never sort of uh, wanted to model. Or yeah. Never have I also ever modeled like that. Towards the end, we have this one quick segment where mm -hmm. I'll ask you like this and that questions. Mm -hmm. And then we just tell out of the two options, mm -hmm. what is that you want to go ahead with. Okay. So um, uh, out of your projects, Ishke Nadan or Ishk Next Door? Ishk Next Door. Uh, Brunal uh, in a comic role or Brunal in a, a romantic role? Romantic. Uh, romance or action, which is your favorite genre to work in? I mean, there are many other genres, yeah. but since you've only limited yeah. me to two, <laughs> uh, romance and action. I think a film just made romance or action. Uh -huh. Don't know. Don't know. We can do it in film. Mein. Yes, of yeah, course. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll take both. <laughs> okay. And otherwise, which is your favorite genre to work in? I mean, right now, there are genres as oh, genres have opened up. That could be a horror. Horror uh -huh. is not. Um, stri dekho. Horror uh -huh. is not. Sirf wo darane wali horror. It's a drama. It can be a comedy yes. horror. Even uh, this uh, to do a freedom fighter, I've always wanted to play a freedom fighter, oh. and I'm very glad that I got Malla Dhingra to play. Uh, yes, I would uh, like to do a sports film also. Mm -hmm. I would, uh, comedy I've done, but again, comedy, I want to do everything. Everything. I am very greedy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Ach, okay, so uh, Mumbai ka vada pao ya Delhi ke momos? Delhi ka koi or option de sakte ho gaya. <laughs> <laughs> Delhi ke gol gappe. Gol gappe Delhi ke. Yes. <laughs> Any day. And uh, what would you be doing if not acting? I don't know. Like now, if I was not acting, uh, in my old field, yeah. I would want to direct something. Okay. Or maybe sing. But if it had nothing to do with performing, then probably I'll be in the mountains running a guest house or yeah. <laughs> just doing my own organic farming and doing yeah. something like that, staying away from the city. Great. So before uh, we wrap this up, I had one thing to you. So on your Instagram, your name is Criminal. Cream Rinal. Cream Rinal. Yes, it's a word play. Cream Rinal. So, Correct. what is the story behind it? I have to ask you. Yeah, in 2014, <laughs> I was making my Instagram profile, yeah. and me and my friend were sitting, and I see Nam Arete Karte Karte. Cream Rinal Agya, because it, it looks like criminal. Like yeah, it, yeah. It's just the R that is there. Yeah. And not the R. Word play, basically. Yes, yes, yeah. So, it just fit in so nicely. Yeah. And I thought it's a little badass also. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So great. Yeah, it just happened and it caught on. People yeah. sometimes call me Krimrenal, yeah. Krimrin, Crimson. All of these little names people now come up with. But I think it's fun. Yeah, it, it's nice. Even yeah. that's something that caught my eye. So great. I think it will it's all something that will stay. It should stay, I yeah. think. There have been people who've told me no, you should take this name off. It yeah. doesn't doesn't have a positive connotation. Yeah. Kaam ke liye criminal huh. nahi. Like it's not criminal, it's just a wordplay. It's <laughs> yeah. fun, I think. Don't take it so seriously. So yeah. I, it's cool. Great. So it was having a lovely conversation with you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your being here and all the best for your film. Thank you so much, Igya. Thank you so much and Dekhna Na Bhule Veer Savarkar in theatre. Thank you. Thank you.